Hey, what's going on YouTube? I actually made this video like maybe two weeks ago and uh, ordered some custom Nike tags from Nike Nate 21. This is his Instagram page. If you're interested, definitely hit him up. The website is in that description below. He'll also feature you guys if you hashtag Nike Nate 21 with his custom hang tag. Some people like to hang these custom tags on their shoes while they wear them. For me, I just wanted to have a unique way of tagging my pictures when I uh, post them on eBay or Instagram, wherever it is. And uh, if you're interested, there's the website. I'll also put it in the description box down below. But uh, let's get right into the tags right here. There was just a small issue with the tags I ordered, but let me just give you guys a quick look before I get into that discussion. Here's the first one. Uh, the person actually threw in a Nike air hang tag because the order took a little bit too long and it was a really nice gesture of them. Also came with a Nike Nate 21 sticker. I actually don't even have a place for my stickers. Um, I don't really put them anywhere specifically. So this is the first one that they made for me um, just to see how the logo would work on the Nike hang tag. So out of good gesture, I also purchased that one as well. And this is the one that I was really, really hoping to get. That is the prism tag. Here's just a quick close up. I really love the details on the skyscape on it. Unfortunately, there was a small issue with the prism one, which you'll see in the close up. So now here's a quick look at the prism one. I don't know if you noticed, but the middle logo is actually a basketball and it's missing like a big part of the lines right there. I, I originally thought it was just um, a scratch that I, I can add in myself, but it's actually part of the prism tag. And uh, yep, that's what it's supposed to look like, but the lines completely fell off some re for some reason. And uh, so I contacted uh, Nate and uh, I think the person that I was dealing with was called Kalai. I'm not really sure how to pronounce her name. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering it, but she was so nice about it. She wanted me to be 100% satisfied with the tag that I received. So uh, they decided to remake another one for me free of charge. I ended up changing the entire logo itself. It's similar, but let me just show you guys right now. They decided to throw in a couple extra hang tags that they had uh, pre-made. So this is one for the Wu-Tang Clan. Here's one for Yeezus. Nothing too special to me. Maybe I'll just give these away to my friends. And then this is the final logo that I changed up to make it easier for Nick. Uh, for, no, for Nate, not Nick. And um, I think it came up pretty well. I changed up the logo, the font, the basketball. So the lines were easier to cut uh, for him. It's just a comparison between the two. It's almost like a sticker on top of a piece of plastic. So technically, if you wanted to, you could scrape that off. And uh, so, it, so it's different from the orange one. The orange one is completely a matte finish. So it's completely flat. But overall, I'm really satisfied with the service and product. And I definitely will recommend you trying those guys out if you're interested. 